praise the living Jesus. We want to bless and appreciate the faithfulness of our Savior in this clinic. In the name of our Redeemer alone be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our text today is taken from the Holy Scripture, from the book of Hosea, chapter 14, verses 1 to 4. Hosea, chapter 14, verses 1 to 4. O Israel, return unto thy God, for thou hast fallen by thy iniquity. Take with you words and turn to the Lord. Say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So we will render the calf of our lips. Asher shall not save us. We will not ride upon oxes. Neither will we say any more to the works of our hand. Ye are gods. For indeed, the fatherless find mercy. I will heal their backsliding, and I will love them freely, for their anger is turned away from him. May the Lord empower his word in this clinic, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name that is above all names, let the Spirit of the Lord, let it come upon you. The Spirit of wisdom, the Spirit of understanding will rest upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the Spirit of counsel and the Spirit of might. Let them come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of knowledge and the Spirit of fear of the Lord rest upon you wherever you are right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. The God of heaven will establish you. You will never be moved by anything around you. Except by the word of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not look back. Let every of your backsliding be healed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And amen. In this edition of Faith Clinic today. God has purposefully and desire to release a special healing anointing that will bring blessing unto us. Anointing of today will release blessing upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a bit different from what has been happening before. Not the blind to see, not the lame to walk, not, not the sick to stand from his sick bed. This is specifically for those who are tired of their situation. God has purpose and desire this edition for those that really need a dramatic change in their situation. The Bible told us you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Today the truth of the word of God will come upon your life. And you'll be free in Jesus' name. Among the truth is the extent in which you will go in life only depend on your work with the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Among the truth, I repeat, the extent in which you will go in this life depend only on your working with the Lord irrespective of your background or your race or your education. I want to assure you in the mighty name of Jesus that as you walk with the Lord the Lord will take you to that place in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will take you to that place in the mighty name of Jesus. Our father Abraham he came from an idol worshipping family. He decided to walk with the Lord. And God made him the father of all nations. Joseph, from slavery to prison, from prison to palace, from palace, he became 
a prime minister in a foreign land. I speak into your life. Wherever it is you come from, the Lord will take you to your greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. You might be thinking, oh, just talking about the Bible. There is a man, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. He's a man that was born in a remote village in western part of Nigeria, West Africa. And he decided to work with the Lord. Now he became the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God worldwide. A church that has more, more than parishes in 170 countries of the world. The head of state of nations call him daddy. The prime minister of western world call him daddy. Presidents call him daddy. Kings, queen, call him daddy. He decided to walk with the Lord. The Lord asked me to tell you, do not write yourself off of your greatness, of your dream. As you walk with the Lord, the Lord will take you there in the mighty name of Jesus. God is calling you in the text we read in the book of Uzziah, chapter 14, verses 1. O Israel, return unto me. We are Israel, according to the scripture, according to Galatians chapter, chapter 3, verses 29. Once you give your life to Christ, you are Abraham's seed. God is calling upon us. Return unto him. Because the moment you draw back, you slide back. When you slide back, you move backward. What is sliding? Sliding is a movement, a form of movement. It's so fast and quick. It happened sudden and within a very short time. And my beloved viewers, the result is catastrophic, especially when it is backward movement. You will not backslide in the mighty name of Jesus. And this backsliding occur in most cases when a man decided to look back. You have been working with the Lord and you look back. Like Lot's wife in the book of Genesis chapter 19 verses 26. Genesis 19 26. She looked back and the Bible recorded she became a pillar of salt. That means she became a statute. She was not able to move again. She was stagnated. You will not be stagnated. In the mighty name of Jesus. The moment to slide back, you become stagnated. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. This type of movement occur when a man look around at his situation. Like Peter in the book of Matthew, chapter 14, from 29 to 30. He was walking with the Lord on the sea, but he looked at the wind. He looked around at his situation, the circumstances, the problem. The Bible says he began to sink. He will not sink in Jesus' name. And this type of movement always occur when a man cannot endure the trial of faith. Like the Israelites. God has saved them. They have seen a lot of signs, wonder, miracle. We got to an extent they were just faced with the Red Sea. Where God has purposed that this is the way I'm going to bury your enemies and their host. And they said, oh, we better go back to Egypt. We prefer eating the little we are having than dying here. You will not look back in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not go back to Egypt in the mighty name of Jesus. Most of the mountain climbers of this world hear their word, never look back. They all said, Want to climb to the mountain? They said, Never look back. You will not backslide in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not draw back in the mighty name of Jesus. God said, O Israel, return unto me. Nyara, my God to thee, 
nearer to thee. Dear in my father home, save and at rest. Dear in my Savior's love, perfectly bliss. Year after year to be nearer my God to thee. Nearer my to thee. With Jesus is safe. In his home, there is rest. There is an unfailing love with him. You will draw nearer to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when a man stops pressing, you become oppressed. You will not stop pressing in Jesus' name. Oppression is just a two words put together. Stop pressing. The moment you stop pressing, then you become oppressed. You will not be oppressed in Jesus' name. You begin to walk with the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. He told them, O Israel, return unto me. Like this walking we are talking about, there is no excuse to look back. No excuse is allowed for backsliding. The Holy Scripture told us about three people. They miss the opportunity of their greatness in life. You don't even know them. Likewise, I don't know them. I don't know their name. You never heard of them again. They miss it. In the book of Luke chapter 9, verses 57 to 62. In the book of Luke chapter 9, verses 57 to 62. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow you. And whithersoever thou goest, 58. And he said unto him, For six half oaths and birds of the air have nets. But the Son of Man has not where to lace his head. Praise the living Jesus. That was one of the persons. That was the only time we heard about him. Because of comfortability, we had to sleep. He backslided. And since then, we never heard about him. Because of comfortability, he looked back. He will not look back in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's look at the second person in verse 59. And he said unto another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and praise the gospel. Praise the living Jesus. Because of the activity, a lot of activity. He wanted to put activity first before the kingdom. He wanted to first to go and bury his parent. He missed it. Till today, nobody knows his name. No look unlike Peter, James, John. They left all. They follow him. See, today we are hearing about Peter, James, John, Matthew. You will not miss your opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus. In verse 60 of 8, Verse 61 of it. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go, bid farewell, which are at home, at my hour. And 62. And Jesus said unto him, No man has put in his hand in the plow, and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. He miss it also because of family ties. My mother, my father, my children, my husband, my wife. Family ties. The three of them 
after this scripture, we never heard about them. They lost the opportunity to become great in life. You will not lose your opportunity today in Jesus' name. As you return to the Lord, the Lord will take you there in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord told him, if you look back, you are not fit for the kingdom. Fit. Fit. If you are not fit for the kingdom, you cannot be fit for the benefit. Because there are a lot of benefit in the kingdom. There are a lot of blessing in the kingdom. As you will return to the Lord today, you fit for the benefit in the mighty name of Jesus. My beloved viewers, you are the key to your miracle. You are the key to your breakthrough. You are the key to the healing you are looking for. Just make up your mind to walk with him. Stay and draw closer to him. I assure you, he will get you there. In that fire, he will be with you. In that flood, he will lift you up. That the flood will not overflow you. Because in his eyes, there is a divine compassion. In his hand, there is a pardon. The Lord of heaven, the immortal, the invisible, and the only wise God, give you the ability to return back unto him in the mighty name of Jesus. In the verse 2 of the Uzziah we read, he asks us to come with some words and give us the assurance. If you come with these words, and confess this word, there is healing. The Lord will heal you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will heal you in the name of Jesus. We want to go to him with this word. He asks us to go with it to, to him. But if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you. In a very short minute, you can join us and be in this, in the, in this side and make this confession. Just say, Lord Jesus, I heard about you today. I'm just coming into the kingdom. Accept me, O Lord, Father. I will serve only you. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior, and I surrender my life unto you. Help me today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you have just said that one, I want to congratulate you. If you are a Christian that you have, you have turned back before, that you are backslided, together we want to go to the Lord. Because he said, we should return unto me, to him, in this, with this word. I want you to open your mouth and begin to say it in verse 2. He said, O Lord, Father, forgive all our sins. Receive us graciously that we may offer the fruit of our lips. We will praise you. We will tell the word about your faithfulness. We confess that Astra cannot save us. We will not mount war horses again. You will be our Lord. We will never say our God to whatever our hand has made. For indeed, the fatherless had compassion. My beloved viewers, I want to assure you, as we have spoken that word, as we have spoken that word, the word of the Lord is powerful. He said we should bring this word unto him. It might not have a meaning for you, but I'm telling you, he has faith. The Lord will heal you and blessing will come upon your life that you might know that we are living by faith in Christ Jesus. I want to pray, very short prayer. Father, we want to thank you, we want to praise you, we bless you. Thank you for this grace and opportunity. Thank you for your word, O Lord, Father, you have sent unto us. Father, your children have spoken. They have confessed the word, O Lord. They brought the word unto you, O Lord, Father. I pray in the name of Jesus, your son. Freely, as they return back unto you, O Lord, Father, accept them and love them in Jesus' name. That your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Your blessing will be released right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not hesitate to contact us because we are sure of blessing. We are sure we are assured of, of breakthrough, of promotion. You can see our contact on the screen. Contact us. 
and tell us about the testimony. And I want to assure you, as we say it, the Lord will make them whole and permanent in Jesus' name. Join us next Thursday for another brand edition of Faith Clinic. Till then, stay connected and God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.